Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am at a really cool spot just off of Highway 101 uh, on the Oregon coast. I can't remember the name of this beach down here. Uh, I'll look it up on the map and I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but uh, we're going to get some spectacular footage with the DJI uh, Mini 4 Pro. Uh, well, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to kind of pan around here so you can see what I'm talking about. And then you can see the highway right here and you can see we're right up against a, uh, a cliff side. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I've got a screen recorder started and uh, drone's getting ready to take off here. Let's take a look at the safety menu as we always do. Uh, everything's looking good. Bypass, normal. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Let's see, I do not need return to home set that high. I'm going to put it back down to about 35 meters. That'll be good. Uh, yeah, we can take a quick look at the battery. Yeah, it's fine as expected. Uh, we're going to shoot in 4K, 60 frames per second. I'm going to start recording right now. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do a quick takeoff here. So uh, let's do an auto takeoff uh, on the app. Takeoff. And there's the little drone. we got a little bit of wind here. Kind of pointing around here so you can kind of see where I'm standing with the uh, with the ocean in the background okay let's go straight up and give you guys uh, a look at uh, at the uh, at the ocean here we're gonna move it out a little bit and then we'll uh, we'll bring it back in to do our droney turning it around this is gonna be fairly dramatic so uh, I want you guys to see you see that cliff face right there uh, and you see that's highway 101 you're hearing a lot of highway noise etc dropping that camera down a little bit uh, we're not going to do reversing up we're just going to do well you know what we're going to do we're going to do reversing down so reverse and down <laughs> and we're gonna you're gonna see uh, where we're at here on the uh, on the side of a cliff over the Pacific Ocean uh, we're well into uh, uh, negative altitude here look at this I'm holding that stick full back and there's the ocean right there Take a look. That is spectacular. Holy cow. Yeah, see, that's a look. If not for a drone, how would you get that look, huh? Holy cow. Let's drop down some more altitude here. And, uh, and we'll see. We'll see just how, how close we can get in. Let me go uh, kind of yaw around so you can see where we're at here. And you can see, uh, the, this is part of the a rugged part of the coastline here. Ah, this is fun. This is uh, this is what flying a drone is all about. How else are you going to get these kind of views, huh? Man, we'll see if we can get down here a ways. And I know it's noisy because we're right off the highway here. Uh, but I still wanted to give you guys a good look. Look at this. Let's kind of move it around here. We'll just kind of do a slow, uh, slow move around. Get you a look here. Look at this little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, where it drops into the, uh, drops into the uh, oh, the, the down the cliff down the hill and a cliff into the ocean that's pretty cool and then the highway is right above it there yeah that is awesome 
That is something to see, isn't it? Let's keep picking it up here. And uh, I just want to kind of get you in for a tighter look. And don't worry, we got plenty of battery. We'll get out over the ocean too. This, uh, this little mini drone is just amazing uh, that it, what it can do. So we're actually way back in positive altitude now. Let's kind of move over here. And I'm just going to move on the side of the, uh, of the cliff face here. And you're going to see if there's a number of pullouts. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly why I chose this one. Uh, but I can tell you it worked out well. See, there's one right there. And people are stopping to look. And you can see where we're at. Let's drop some altitude here and get down a little bit lower. And boy, there's a lot of traffic on the highway, isn't there? But then, let's just kind of go along the side here and take a look at this beach, huh? What do you think of that? <laughs> uh, this is cool. And I'm ashamed to say that I didn't take note of uh, the name of this beach and all you uh, Oregonians that uh, that live on the coast or know the coast better than I do are going to be laughing, but I'll look it up. Uh, and if I haven't put it up on the screen already, I will. Let's uh, let's continue to drop down. And I have I have direct line of sight on the drone here as we're going as we're dropping in altitude, getting down towards the beach here. Yeah, we're negative 30 meters. Uh, there's nothing like flying your drone down instead of up. Negative 50 meters here. And I think it looks really cool being right next to the, uh, right next to the cliff face there. This is fun stuff. So fairly rocky beach. You know, I'm looking right down at it. It's, it's fairly rocky. We're, we're uh, almost 100 meters negative altitude. Yeah, we're over 100 meters negative altitude now. We'll just fly along the beach here for a little ways and see what there is to see. You can see uh, there's some beach houses here that are, you can imagine uh, that's probably some pretty expensive property right there, I'd be willing to bet. Some folks spending some money there, but boy, what a view. I'll turn around here in a second and I'll show you. It's just straight out to the uh, Pacific Ocean. We can drop some more. We're, uh, we are, uh, we got plenty of room to drop some altitudes. So, yeah. So that's, there's a more traditionally, traditional sandy beach there, right there, instead of all the rocks. Look at that in the surf. And again, uh, we're about 130 meters negative altitude and dropping right on the surf at 71% battery. That's the cool thing about this guy is you don't have to worry about battery power. Let's, uh, let's go sideways here and we'll take a look here at the... Uh, at the beach, at, or at the uh, what we see on shore here, and I'm grabbing a little bit of altitude. We don't want to be too low above people. We got great, like I said, I've got a direct shot to the drone here, so we've got great signal. Good stuff here. Let's back it up. We're getting too close to the beach here, so I want to be out over the water. We're backing this guy up. And I'll show you a shot here of, uh, of, of when you look out west, all you're going to see is ocean. So let's point this guy due west.
And there you are. There's the, that's the Pacific Ocean right there, folks. Next stop, Japan. Or Hawaii. <laughs> uh, gosh, this is some this is some great footage. Okay. Let's turn this guy around and uh, all, because all that is is empty ocean, let's get back looking towards uh, towards the beach here. And boy, look at this surf here. I presume that's probably a rip current, huh? Because it was it going out and going in at the same time. I guess you probably wouldn't want to be trying to swim through that. Look at that. I, I'm, again, I'm just going to say, yeah, it's giving me a strong wind warning, so it says lower altitude. You know, I, I yeah, we'll, 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 discretion is the better part of valor. We'll start bringing it back to us here. And we're at 61% battery here, so we better be bringing it back. Let me pick up that camera. And, uh, yeah, right along the cliffside there. And that wind warning went away, so we're doing good. I'm going to kick her into sport mode here and see if I can make some time coming back. And remember, OA is off in sport mode. Yeah, we must be going against the wind because uh, typically we'd be at about 16 meters per second and it's about 9. So, yeah, I guess that's where, uh, again, discretion is the better part of valor. Come back uh, before you need to because uh, speed-wise here, uh, we're definitely, definitely fighting some wind going this direction. As soon as we get a little closer here, we'll throw it back into normal mode and, uh, and bring this guy up. In fact, uh, I'll, I'll throw it into uh, return to home and uh, we'll watch that, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, return to home in action and uh, you'll see it climb from negative to positive altitude. And see if it'll thread between these trees here. It should. Yeah, we're picking up some speed here. We're up to 12. Well, we were up to 12 meters per second there for a while. Boy, I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can get... I want to get closer to the side of the... Uh, of the... Uh, cliff face here. I just think that's a more dramatic look. Yep, I, I, I'm just telling you, this is why I fly drones, is to get shots like this. This is so much fun. I'm not sure the name of this point right here. I'm sure it has a name. If I can find it, I, again, I'll put it on the screen. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm getting silent a few times. It's not often that I run out of things to say, but man. Oops. Fly with caution. Yeah, we lost, uh, we went into Addy mode there for a second, and I'm not sure why. Looks we still got satellites. I, I wonder if I was blocked by, uh, could have been blocked by the, uh, by the cliff face here, but uh, anyway, I just looked back. We got 19 satellites, but. Yeah, that was a little startling to go into Addy mode there. Okay, let's. Uh, let, I'm going to go ahead and hit return to home, and let's see the path that this guy takes. I'm going to do it on the controller and uh, to hit that return to home. And you can see it's climbing straight up there. Look at it. Look at look at that. That green line is doing the climb uh, to get back to us here. So I'm kind of anxious to see I'll be uh, I'll be uh, hit that pause button if I see something I don't like uh, but uh, but it's it's coming back to us yeah and you can see uh, we're right on the edge of that uh, of that cliff face And it's going to have to come right over the top of this tree. And it should be able to do that. 
because it, it defaults to normal mode and I just switched it back into normal mode so we have obstacle avoidance but you're gonna see it come right over the top of this tree yeah it's go it's going up and it's gonna come down so I got nothing to worry about there let's drop that drop that camera down straight down and it's starting to come down now landing. yep it's in landing mode and it was up I think about 30 meters high there and it's gonna land pretty close to where it took off uh, right in front of the car there you can see the uh, the drone shadow that tells us where it's gonna land and it'll pick up that camera here picked up the camera so it's in landing mode now and boom on the ground hey okay uh, so we landed with about 30 percent battery there so we were in plenty good shape that was quite a flight we got out there a ways we were down negative at one point I know over 130 meters negative altitude so that'll tell you how high we are perched up on the side of the uh, cliff face here uh, dramatic stuff beautiful views of the Pacific Ocean and the beach down here I'm telling you that's why you fly drones so darn much fun getting those kind of shots and exploring like this so that's about it uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho quadcopter channel reporting from the Oregon coast uh, I so appreciate you guys taking the time to look at this video and uh, if you think about it it'd be nice if you uh, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of videos uh, but yeah that's about it we will see on the next one uh, the DJI Mini 4 Pro I always say it and I'll say it again it really is a pro drone